so, didn't, he didn't win any Wednesday Night Fights either. Yeah, so he finally won the Wednesday Night Fights. Now he's looking for a victory at MSM. And this is looking to be the case with no Tyrant yeah. in play. Charlie out. Nico out. 818 blown into a smithereen. Man, where's Larry? Larry, where art thou? But, uh, I'll be right back. Get some water. All right, bring me some water too, please. Yeah. Sounds like Strides is lying, man. I don't even know if it's telling me the truth. I hope Strides brings me back water. I hope he comes back with my H2O. But anyways, this is going to be Grand Finals. I'm hip in winner's side and Razo in loser's. Where'd he go? Uh, grab water. H2O. I don't know, man. The, 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 mind, the mind of Jordan is uh, really, really interesting. But anyways, let's get on to game one. Of course, like I said earlier, this is a repeat of Wednesday Night Fights of last week. Of course, Razo was also in the loser's side and, and I'm in winner's. We'll see how things will go differently for Razo. So a lot of momentum into his hands coming up in the last game, but same thing happened at WNF. Hopefully the story won't be repeated twice and Razo can definitely finally find a reset here. But looking like a tough possibility as Heimkamp takes the early charge. Immediately 72% Razo just looking for an opportunity to read against Heimkamp. Starts off with those down airs. I kind of like that Razo is trying to play the aerial game here because he knows if he touches the ground, Heimkamp has a chance to toss in a Pikmin and probably get him attached to him. But even then, Heimkamp can also talk him, uh, toss in the Pikmin in the air as well, just like that. Okay, Razo looking for a stage play here, bringing it kind of close. Neutral air, Razo tosses in the pit turn up there for possible edge guard. And unfortunately, I'm him out of fuel to come back to the stage. All right, Razo just looking for an opportunity to continue this lead here. I kind of like it. Once again, Razo's looking for the aerial game here, but those two Pikmin will attach to Razo, and Razo able to get him off by using the Daisy Bomber. And looking to make some strong plays already, putting I'm Hip off the stage in a 50%. I do like how Razzle kind of understands, you know what, I have these Pikmin attached to me, I kind of want to get them off, and the minute I have the chance with that Daisy Bomber, that will be my opportunity. You know, this matchup used to be considered bad for all of us, because uh, they both scared. It was really hard for him to do it. Yeah. Because, uh, I don't know, he didn't really have any great moves to just jump out and show the hit her with. So I feel like, I feel like if Arazo tries to play that game, there's Longmar, he can do really well. I'm him in the cross over. I'm him in that Pikmin, taking one for the team, kind of stopping that Daisy Bomber off the stage. Giving I'm him some stage control. Tries to space out that back air, but Arazo winning the better of that interaction there. Oh, had to go for the air dodge. No tech. No tech indeed. Alright, good stuff for Arazo. Oh man, never mind. That was just so unlucky. Like, he got hit by all the white damage, and then he just ran up and up smash him. Like, dang. That's yeah, gonna be. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's gonna be slightly a momentum killer there, but Razo strikes back with immediate 44% leading onward. Yeah, that's really good aggressive plays right here. Oh my goodness, almost got ruined. Yeah, but look, like, there's not much you can do about that. He has to respect that strip touch with the bear and then he drops the back here. He just doesn't have a really fast out of show out to catch him. He's got eye in here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god, barely, he felt it. Barely missed that for you. Okay, I'm here kind of just looking for an opportunity. All right, he finally gets back on the stage. Gets some Pikmin there, and he wow. gets the chase down from Razzle yeah, all the way to the corner. The Avoids the forward air, and Razzle going even deep just to get the back air from the ledge. Razzle, great play, forcing out I'm hip. That was nice. Yo, Razzle's playing much better than he uh, did when they fought first with each other yeah. last week, I mean. I'm right. just going to have to turn it up. Yeah, he is going to have to turn it up a lot. I wonder if he goes Dark Knight and all of these matchup. I guess he still suffers from the same things if he goes Dark Alright, back on PS2. Ryan hits. Not going to do a stage change here. Knows that he can make the player adjustment and to do just as well. Because he's beaten Razo five times already. Just a matter of him uh, adapting to the new style that Razo was playing with. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness, wow. <laughs> I'm amazed he was able to get the whistle armor out in time to avoid the like, way more knockback and send off stage. But uh, he still took all the damage from that setup. I really like that full cancel there, it's so quick. 
I'm not gonna lie, I kind of appreciate this song a lot. It's kind of weird, I know it's a little off topic, but I actually love this song a lot because it was in the Pokemon anime. And, uh, pretty favorite of mine. It was, also, it was also the song that you can hear out of Pokemon. Uh, I just get tired of hearing that Gladion thing every single time you go to the stage. <laughs> like, this I, is so annoying. Like, it's okay. Every, I, every single person that plays on the stage has, like, that's only that song turned on. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's like the Edgelord theme, too, because the way that Gladion is designed in the game is like the ultimate Edgelord in Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, jeez. You didn't know about that for it, yet. Oh well, yeah, everyone plays it like all the time. I know it's a good song, but if you play it over and over, it gets bad. Uh, how do you think I feel about going out to freaking uh, Smash Bros. and Town of City? Two same songs ever, but hopefully these aren't going to be this. Uh, hopefully these, these tracks won't be retired here for both these players because they're playing a different tune. Yeah, this is a uh, back and forth now. Yeah, I'm just doing a pretty good, decent job of adjusting. I mean, it's it's one thing that like I'm just adjusting, right? He's kind of not trying to play a solo a cappella Pikmin, right? He kind of wants to have the family around here to sing the song. But at this situation, though, that Toad will come out for a duet in the middle of the counter. Oh, that back yeah. air says a lot as well. Yeah, I really like it. That purple back air is so strong. And he's really in really good spots to catch Rosal when he's in the air. Missing that grab. Oh, tossing in those Pikmin just for safe patches here. I'm hip. Oh, oh that'll do it. Really good uh, jump through the ledge to get the ledge trump. Trying to ledge neutral air to get the stock really nice jump. Oh, barely living that up smash. Gotta be careful. Very, very potent in the game. Oh man, it also should recognize he had the purple there. And uh, he was playing with fire going that close against all mark. Down air, almost gets the forward air. Razo looking to move towards a grand finals reset. He's doing so well against I Pip. Oh, yeah, these are the perfect kids to meet. Oh, two deep on stage, bro. And Mike Austin gave I Pip's face control back, and he got really good damage there. Right. Oh, blue Pikmin, that was pretty strong there, but Razo gets back on the stage. Razo looks great, dash dancing. There was some bad dash dancing we saw kind of earlier in the bracket, but now we're seeing some solid ones coming out from Raza. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, geez, I don't, it doesn't have the best range, honestly. I mean, even when he has a pick, and all he can do is go for like a laggy grab or an S smash. Oh my God, man, he held that shield for such a good time. He can dash dance a little bit more effectively than his character, and if he uses his float like cancel move, that'll do it. Wow, a blue up throw is just enough. Always, always has that on deck. Yeah, I'm him clutching out. Feels like a clutch out, honestly. Clutching out game two. Yeah, that looked like Raza's game to lose, honestly. Yeah. We'll see what the stage pick is going to be for both of these players. I'm I was going to say, I'm sensing them going back to PS2. Okay, all PS2 set. Looks like the new Smash Bros. I, I didn't like how how uh, Smashville turned out for I'm Hip, right, in game one. That wasn't doing really well for him. Like, he was dying a little bit earlier because of the blast zones in that stage. So, coming out of PS2, I felt uh, um, I'm Hip a lot of better momentum. Of course, stage being deeper as well against Daisy. That's something that also happened oh. against her. All right, Robin's going to have to mix up his uh, combos because he's been getting the late whistle on, like, the end of that combo consistently now. I like the flow cancel double nair, but like you can probably end it with a grab because he just keeps smashing down B. Oh, I'm gonna have to go a little bit low, not gonna dodge the neutral air though. Yeah, okay. covering all the options there. No hitbox on his recovery, so he just had to hold that. That was really good stuff from Razzle. I think he can look at the lead this time, but before he got the lead with it, immediately and just dropped it. I love it having to do with him just playing overly aggressive. Oh, down there. Nice. Oh, the Pikmin blocking that potential setup there. Oh, oh wow, man. that was risky. But I'm just looking for a dash track and no smash. Probably a missing foot. He's going for the side piece all day. Get rid of the Pikmin. Only has Monique left. Oh, but that's all he needs, man. To the clutch. All right, hopefully though, I'm able to clutch more neutral situations up because he's finally got even stocks, but Razo already looking well strong on the, the next one. Yeah. Gotta be careful with this purple Pikmin, otherwise. Oh, oh Down tilt almost gets that forward here. So close for Razo. Nice. Still has a purple Pikmin in play. Oh, Kit's killed by the turn of. Wow, that was actually really good for Razo. 
missing that forward smash. The attachment here. Now Razo off the stage. Sends it the forward smash. Not gonna get it, but Razo comes out immediately with down air. This is I'm hip off the stage. Hopefully he can toss in more pivot and finally come back. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, yeah, full screen. It actually has a good PI on that. Back right. there, that'll do it. But I'm hip also worked a little bit on Razo. Hopefully this can be a situation here or game three will fall to Razo. Honestly, sending some of us in shambles for Kane's. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that's going to be on the table. Hey, man, Dan Downey Kane's closed at 2 in the morning, bro. We still got time. You actually know the time it closed. Yeah, bro. I, do I know. Do. <laughs> me, and, me and Joel have gone to that cave at 2 in the morning before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. All right. So right now, I'm struggling to get an opening here. This is looking really good for Razo. Oh, my oh, goodness. My goodness. The extended hitbox from destroying all the Pikmin. He just completely... I mean, it's kind of shook after that one. He's killed, like, yeah, man. Killed all the Pikmin and all of Mario's. Like, get this character out of here. Man, that was the family four piece combo, dude. <laughs> really, that was really wow, catching on that. Crazy. All right, one game away from the reset here. Ross is looking really good. I'm just thinking about his counter pick. He's got it. I mean, PS2 kind of worked well for him. It wasn't going to work around the second time because Razo had a death to but he. Hey man, if any time's a charm, the third one will be it. Razo at set point here in Grand Finals. Hopefully gonna put I'm Hip in losers. I'm Hip with a second chance at life to make things work out. Yeah, we get for Razo to be able to make this happen. It's because he did lose to I'm Hip last week, and it wasn't super close. No, it was not. Was a reset. Yeah. So, uh, I'm it's not gonna lie though, thank God, because it was like one in the morning. <laughs> that was by myself. Solo commentary for that one. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, it's just a really big statement if you're able to like, beat the person that beat you last really badly. We'll see though. Man, you took 43% just for not getting rid of that uh, white pick. That's crazy. Alright, tossing the Pikmin just for safe passes there and even stops the Daisy Bomber. Comes out with these Pikmin. I'm him looking for an up air. It's another one now looking at these platforms where Raza was looking to hopefully land, but he stops them each time. Spacing out the Daisy Bomber that down for us is going to work. I don't have to worry about this Pearl Pikmin. I have to worry about two of them. This is definitely looking a lot closer than it was last game between I'm Hip and Raza. Like both players are even for stands here. I think wins Whoa. the neutral and wins the stock with that back air. Wow. I know that back air is strong, but I know who's strong enough to kill with that person. He's even got two Purple Pikmin in play. Yeah, and it's working wonders for him. Backing up all the damage. Oh. But Say goodbye. Yeah. No, I trade that was working for uh, I'm Hip right there. You gotta be careful. Yeah, you gotta deal with the white damage, but nice. Full cancel here to get it off the immediately Ooh. this time. The aggression from Razzle immediately. He doesn't want I have to have too much of a lead. That's why he was able to tie it out right away. Okay, pulls out the pick in here, gets the up smash, and looking for an up air. Wow. Able to take it from that purple, percentage. Purple up air is insanely strong. Knockback Oh, misses the pivot grab there coming up from out here. Tossing the Pikmin though. He needs the weight to be off of him just to come back. Yeah, uh, this is really heavily uh, in Ina's favor right now. I almost got a lap of percent on this stock. Only 5% away. We'll see how what Razo can do, of course. And he's riding a great momentum right now. Oh, back nice. throw. Great spacing game that pivot grab in just in time. Okay, now fall on top of him with the corridor, still not enough to kill. Oh my goodness, extended herb box from the, the turn up and the destroyed victory. Very scary. But uh, now we got the purple in play. 97 is enough for him to die with the rage that he has right I here. I like it. Look at the spacing there, too. He knew how Razo was going to come back. Possibly looking for a Daisy Bomb or possibly just looking for a different forward air. Oh! That was going to be the forward air that he was looking for earlier at the ledge. The turn up clashed with the kick inside me and completely blocked the hitbox. He was always thinking that. Man. Oh! But He's gonna mash, forward smash, up smash, down smash, it doesn't matter which one I throw out, you're gonna die. Purple up smash, but doing the trick, going into game five. Yeah. I'm here working with that lead really well, and now Legend Razo make the comeback happen. Mm hmm. Did pretty well. This is the final fist bump between I'm Hip and Razo before we either see I'm Hip win MSM or Razo take him down on losers. It would be good for I'm Hip to be able to win his first MSM, honestly. Like, honestly, I'm Nah, bro, you're just saying that for the cans, bro. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm I don't even think we're going, honestly. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just jumping over here. 
No, I mean, it's just so long as I'm in, uh, in this game. It's like so, so good. Yeah. He's never he's been able to win the MSM before. Exactly. That's what he kind of told me at WNF. And for him to come out to the MSM right with a strong oh. side, but Razo immediately denying that possibility already. Oh, my God. Luckily, y'all are more rational percent like crazy. So it's not. Oh, like I don't know, man. Razo is definitely singing a different tune right, about it's that. Hard. It, it's hard not only because that just happened, but since Razo is so momentum based. Like, once you get something like that, you can just signal you. And Alomar is a pitching character. He's not really good at discoursing aggressive things that happen. So if he makes his comeback happen, it's going to be very, very hard. Yeah. Yeah, Razo is just, like, going super aggressive now. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I know your shit oh. from losing that stock at zero like that. Yeah, he's very shook. He even went for the high forward air, and unfortunately, I think it goes a little extra higher just to make sure you can avoid it there. Comes out with shield, missing that purple Pikmin there. Also, so strong with momentum at this moment. Yeah, really insane stuff on that first talk. He's just been applying so much more pressure this time. Oh my goodness, he smacks him right in the face with another four there. Oh it's no, that turn of snipe. Turn of snipe. Can he make it? All right. He it doesn't kill, he gets so... Oh my goodness, he gets so much percent. Yeah, I'm having a tough time so far against Razo. Game five, a lot of it. Going to Razo, oh. that Nutra, and we'll do it, the attack, un I couldn't even tell, I couldn't yeah, even see look, the flash. Look like an untechnable. Yeah. Dang. What a turn around Razo. Oh, yeah, he got hold of it. But the Pikmin actually messing up his uh, combo there. And I'm amazed he's living that parry to F smash with the purple at that percent. That's really insane. Razo's just probably looking at three stock potentially. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Commentator's curse, man, still strong. No, I mean, it's gonna have to do a lot to bring this thing back. Yeah, with already 50% to oh his name and Razo goodness. missing some. Every pick he died to the F smash. He really got the whistle armor intact. Okay. Razo going in the attack mode here. Oh, alright. Another one. Razo able to escape that forward and attaches the yellow pigment onto Razo. Razo takes the time to get it off of him. I mean, honestly, at that situation, though, he had he had opportunity to take it off, too, because, you know, he has a lead. Okay. Oh, man. Patience. Oh, <laughs> Going for those so forward end. Olimar, too short to get hit by those. I am hit past so much homework to do here. And Razo making that homework just pile on top of each other there. That tilt coming out for the counter. I'm hit just narrowly missing that from Razo. Pulls out more Pikmin. I'm hit at a desperate situation here at the ledge. Yeah. Just fighting for the stage with that forward oh and will do it. Goodness. And the reset for Razo as he gives a small pop off from the controller. You guys see the cracked helmet on Elmar and like did the, the finishing blow? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Dude, come on. We, oh, I was going to say, Strides, you and me were both in that line at E3 for the direct. You, me, and Korean. And that was see if I all watched the direct in line at E3, and we saw that little information. I didn't remember that. That sounds like something that was really unimportant compared to everything else that they talked about. Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody was popping off from the minute they, everybody saw Snake say it, and it was, everyone was here. We all popped off. Well, Raz was popping off right now. Yeah. Reset, intact, playing super well, and uh, man, I don't. I don't know, it's, it'll be so sad if Razo still loses this reset after how well he's been playing just to bring it to a reset. Yeah. It's possible though. I, I'm hip to just like, oh, these guys are just been going back and forth. Like, whoever gets a really strong start. Oh, that's a strong start. Yeah, they <laughs> tend to just run away with the whole game. But you saw Razo get that zero to death and just completely ran away with it. You see, I'm hip only taking like 20% on his first dock. I don't know. Maybe it's like a combination of these players and the stage that's making it so that the person that gets to the league snowballs so heavily. But I'm starting to see it already with Arm here. Okay. Got the legs, threw away his purple. Lineup is a little bit, a little bit weak right here. Alright. And him able to just move around from that corner. I think Riding with great momentum so far in next game. Alright, like that forward throw sets up more edge guard situation here. Of course, this is the edge phase for I'm Hip, but now losing that as Arazzo is able to come back towards the middle of the stage, take control of it, and switch things around again right now. It's really interesting that I'm Hip starting off so well, because like, you expect Arazzo to have like a really big lead this game, just judging by how well he played last game. Yeah. But like, I'm Hip just out the gate, just playing really well, but nice snipe there. 
hit him out of both the jumps, forced me up being at the forward air all the time. I mean, with that forward air, man, it looks like Razzle put I'm hit inside the game. He closed it, and you know what yeah. now, man. He ain't gonna go down like that just yet. All right, pick one throw into forward air. I'm kind of just spacing himself out here. I kind of like how he's toning it down a little bit. That back air will do it, I'm sensing the shield, how it came out for Razzle. That was really good stuff from my He like forced him in a really bad spot for the pick and toss and then used that opportunity to get in there with the back there. Grab into down throw and then into yeah. forward air. With the assist from the red pick and fire as well. So good right here for him. I mean with the stock lead, back throw, edge phase. What's going to be his play here? Not going to be much because Roswell comes in with the forward air and pushes advantage yet again. Still has that purple on deck though, so Roswell can't do anything too risky yeah. on the shield here. Speaking of risky, man, that down air was not feeling like it was risky for Razo. Yeah, normally that's just a safe area we can throw out against all of our shields, so if he is going to try to approach with a move, down there is going to be But dang, it's like so much damage from white kick in, oh my goodness. Get again, another opportunity here for the ledge play, but the down tilt from Razo almost getting the forward air. Here for oh no, oh, he did too low. Man, he yeah. did too low. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's gonna lose that, but honestly, I feel like I'm here. Still had so much control of that game that it's very unlikely that he would have lost that anyway. Razo, you know what? He did a lot of things to come out back against I'm Hip. I'm Hip kind of like, you know, he wiping his face, like, hey, hold on, let's get back into the game. This is my MSM to win, dude. Like, he, he came out to W now. Razo lost his chance. Razo wants a chance here, but so does I'm Hip. This is quite the story here for this, both of these IE players, both wanting an MSM victory in their hands. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we remember the day that Razo came out to MSM, right? Defeated uh, Fallen and ended Fallen's uh, record streak in SoCal. Yeah, this wouldn't, this wouldn't be uh, Razo's first MSM win. No, not it at all. It would be your first one for Ultimate, but not like overall. If yeah, I'm not in, overall. If I'm in win, it's like, this is because I'm winning MSM, period, like in general. Quite, quite one of the hardest tournaments to win, too. It's always super stacked. Yeah. The first time, like, 150 entries today, or like, all, all you good players here, it's a uh, pretty We had NorCal come up? Yeah, NorCal drove like eight hours from just, just this local, which is crazy. Shout out to America, man. GP again, Miho, and all those players out there, too, as well. Yeah. We'll be seeing him soon at Genesis 6. But before yeah. we get there, we are at MSN Grand Finals reset between Brazil and Nadia. Oh, my goodness. Just fall right on top of him with that forward air. Man, this is blow for blow, dude. Every time oh, I'm hit wins one. to forward air, dude. 49, dude. That's so strong, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my right. what? Okay, that was a standout there. That was a standout. I don't even look like he was trying to parry, but then like he wasn't even having any of the right timing at all, so he just F smash anywhere. Look at the oh way he's my. just running back, oh tossing in his Pikmin, dude. This percent that, already that into up smash. Wild. He side B into forward air. The white Pikmin doing all the work. The combination with the purple forward air just gets so much percent. I immediately steals his game right back. Yeah. Razo worked a lot to keep it pretty close. Empty hop coming up from Razo, even ignoring the Pikmin attached to him. Sends that turn up a little bit low just to stop. I'm hit to recover here. Comes out with a down smash from I'm hit though. I feel like a lot that I'm hit is doing is kind of understanding what Razo has been doing at certain situations. They're like, I, like he got hit by the forward air, but most of the time I'm just kind of been trying to space Razo. Just a little bit more. Down there. Oh, oh, what a man. mix up, dude. And it's all because like I'm hit probably would have sensed the turn up. Yeah. And Razo just tosses it upward. Yeah, I think Kaiman was focused purely on the turn of edge guard that he doesn't pay attention to Razo. That was really good stuff from Razo there to get that stock. He's got to be careful. Doesn't take much for Ainu to take the stock right back. 164%. Definitely dead to enough smash. Or, oh. up, or an up throw. He's moving around, but not even get much about against Razo. I'm him losing time and opportunity right here. Razo got some solid percent on him to boot oh, and yeah. even climbing higher. Oh, oh man, so he there. killed the Pikmin in the process, even though he didn't get the, uh, get the stock off all of them. Bazo sets up the edge guard, the float there, just so threatening oh, against I'm Hip, but he moves in just in the nick of time to send yeah, that back air. barely got under that time, he got the upgrade kill as well. That was really good stuff from I'm Hip, but yeah. still, it's going to take a lot to bring him back. I mean, we saw him kind of like jump out the gate, right, with 60% early on against Razo. Oh, oh and that Peach good. Bomber. Yeah. 
I feel like he was trying to mash something there, but it got hit before it came out. I mean, that is I mean, I'm sensing another game five because it's been game for game from yeah. coming up from both players. Yeah, it's just been going back and forth each game. Ever since the last set, so. I wouldn't expect anything different here. I mean, I, I feel like we need to see a different stage, but we're not. I don't know. The stage is relatively neutral. I just want to, like, I'll go for the surprise pick. Maybe he'll save it for game five. They're already yeah. from DSR either, so. Okay. Game three going in here. He's going to start off strong this time. This first was Raza, we were dying hit. And uh, basically, like I said, Persona starts off with the best lead, and he's just going the right way with the game. No matter what. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, man. It's just this message I got, man. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, man. Some some off-screen nuttiness going on, but let's come out to how this game, man. Because right now it is game three between Razo and I'm hip, and uh, both players just trading in games. But we'll see who finally gets the momentum here. And right now, I'm hip starting off strong to boot in again. I feel like each player has kind of been adapting to each other's adaptations. <laughs> yeah. And so to say, like Razo makes a small change, then I'm hip makes a small change. Like, that's been going on so far to bring us in these game for game situations. Yeah, this is a sign of two really strong players. Yeah, two of the, uh, the IE's finest, you know, alongside, of course, Scizor lives in the IE, you haven't seen too much of him, obviously, he's doing his own thing. Just, oh, sorry, I think Scizor's in Mexico right now. Is he? I, I don't know, I haven't kept up with him yet. But uh, yeah, IE has a lot of strong players now, uh, along with these two, where it's like Meteor is pretty strong. Ghost. I, I haven't seen him yet so far. Me game. either. I actually haven't seen Ghost either. I just uh... Ghost has been pretty well in one of the first ones. But uh, first doctor going into Iron Man. Not too much of a lead, but with the zoning character like Olimar right now, in the in the lineup he has, he can actually push it really far if he plays his cards right. Yeah. yeah. I really like how he does the aerial side view when he has the purple. It's because it has a, it has knockback and can hit it on a float. Alright, Amir pulls off the pick in here, there's that forward air, Razo getting momentum into his hands here. He can stocks, but not 80%. We'll see oh. how things will go over this game. I like that narrative out of shield to deal with it down there. I haven't seen many out of shield options coming out from Iron to deal with that move, so that would be really effective. If he's able to keep doing that, he's also going to have a lot more trouble with uh, action pressuring and finding the shield. Yeah. Down throw for Razo and trying to get the backup, but not able to find it. Also controlling this ground of this cage, I'm finally able to land. One thing I want to see from I'm a little bit more is kind of just tossing these Pikmin against the Daisy Bombers, because they've been doing so good uh, the past couple games. And he has, when he doesn't get them in, Raza's just able to pull them out a little bit more often against them. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to do that. Oh, geez. it's gonna do that for a lot of reasons because it also shortens the distance that the side he goes, mm -hmm. and he's like more up, more likely to chair the picture instead of like hitting himself. Exactly, so hopefully like I'm just able to counter that from Razo and eliminate that move from his pool of moves that he can use. Kind of limiting the game plan too from Razo as well. Once you limit a, uh, a move that a character can use, you're kind of limiting the game plan a little bit. Yeah, and since he's been having such a good time like killing with that move as well, it's been really good for him to block that. But uh, not looking too bad right now. Already got 67 percent on the stock. I'm oh. Here. oh, catches the landing pair with the fourth smash. With punches are looking really strong. Oh my goodness, this is the roll with the down smash. And look at the crazy. And a two stock from high pip at high percent. That side B with the That's what I'm talking about, man. Like the, I, the, the counter to the side B that Ross has been getting, right? That's kind of one of the things I want to see I'm hip do. And finally, breaking that out, finding the counter, the spacing on that one. Not even using the Pikmin to that one as well. Yeah, that's actually even better than using the Pikmin to block. Uh, if you do with punch that move, you also want to like move out of the way like he did because when it lands on the ground, it has way more lag. It's actually yeah. very easy to punch. So uh, that was really great stuff behind here. Just a tiny little micro spacing movement right there. All right, well. The up throw. And now, game four, man. I don't know if we're finally, sensing <laughs> Finally switching the stage here. Razzle's doing everything he can to bring this to a game five and win this tournament. Losers bracket. Yeah, and I am hip though. Same scenario, dude. <laughs> Dipping into the losers bracket, doing everything he can to win from losers. No. Previously in winners. 
see if he's a little bit too late for his uh, counterpick stage to achieve. I really feel like this is still a very strong armor stage. And uh, the ceiling being higher off the top in this game. Yeah. Uh, that's a change from Smash 4, right? Like, Smash 4, the ceiling was, you know, of course, infamously low, but now in Ultimate, the ceiling is higher. And the No Hazard version has a better platform now, in my opinion. Not only that, because it's, you know, it's an FD for now, like, it also provides different ways to play around the stage, right? Yeah. You see, like, these platforms are now on the sides, right? So they allow for different kind of combos and edge guards, as opposed to your other transformation where the platforms are tri. I kind of like the tri, single, and no platform. It uh, has a similar layout to Kalos. Yeah. Part, except the FD portion is a little bit smaller. In my opinion, oh. the okay. best transforming stage, if you quote unquote transform. Mm -hmm. Up there off the top. Okay. Back up the ledge. Okay, runs away. I like it. Oh, I'm man. just playing the lame game. I mean, play lame when the game. That's kind of one of the classic Mitsu King sayings here. Honestly. Yeah, the switch up from Iron has been so good for me, and I don't blame him for switching to a more compared to like inherently. So he just played with strength instead, like forcing the aggressive option. He doesn't have to do it. I mean, Razu was kind of sensing that he had to land at some point after tossing out the Pikmin. Okay. Oh, a little bit greedy with that down there. Are you trying to get back to center stage? Oh, that's a good trade for him. Nice! Catches him in the air. Oh, Another yeah. catch. Alright. This is what it's come out to for him. Okay, and kind of Raza, like, he hasn't been able to land those baby bombers, and it's not much of a play that Raza wants to make, but every time he's gone for it so far, I just kind of been there to, like, get away from it. Or even just go ahead and punish it. Oh, that was such good space there for Raza, but he's still not able to get a hit that can lead to Ooh, him. man. Oh, play oh, oh, oh my god, was that the hitbox extension? Yeah, extended hitbox there coming out from I'm here, 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 I
like I said, each each game is a different adaptation for both players, adapting to something different than they did in the last game. Yeah. Honestly, I never had that last game in the bag until uh, he got that extended hitbox for you. Yeah. I feel like that's what like, Razo's been able to do, right? Kind of just cheese him out with the... Uh, with the turnips, like right there, like he tossed turnip, wasn't able to get it through because of the Pikmin. So every time he's been getting an extended hitbox from the forward air, right, it's the turnip, but he mixes it up to turnip throws and things like that. Yeah. You gotta be careful though, because uh, I think it's a really good spot to take this first talk yet again. See? Once yeah, exactly. And I wanted to go back to the gameplay that we saw earlier, right? Like the fact that I'm him stopping the Peach, the Daisy Bomber, right? He's kind of eliminating that move. That's why we haven't seen it too much from Marvel these past three games. Yeah, and it was so fun to me, the other side versus my side. Yeah. Throw off the up air on the ledge, catching Razzle sleeping just a little bit. Yeah, let me mention swings and I'm hips hands just for a second here. Okay. All right, he's oh, tossing nice his pick. Nice landing chop with the forward smash. It's just it's really good movement here. I kind of want to say having PS2 available kind of gives I'm hip a little bit more um, stage room to move around compared to. Um, Town and city. Yeah, I was just surprised being banned in series. It's like I'm just playing on the stage almost the entire set so far. Oh, that shield looking mighty small. Right, the right, they know I that wow, that action <laughs> hit. I didn't, I didn't expect that hit. I, I know I'm hit. Oh, and he's having a lot of momentum in hands, right? Looks in the game five, possibly close to his name here. And Raz is just trying to still get the stop back throw. Won't do it. I kind of wanted to see fourth throw from where Raza was on the stage. Yeah. This gives him more stage control. I think he's going to fall off stage so he can edge guard. But I think that dash attack connect. I believe in this game you don't fall out of the dash attack for Peach. Yeah, you don't. It's pretty good for him. Oh. Oh, nice. that'll do it. Uh, no percent taken. All right, well, Razo has quite the canyon to walk through and the hill to climb. And so nice. far, he opens up very nicely, 62% already on I'm Hip. Kind of making that second slug look like a freebie. Still, though, I'm Hip basically racked up all that damage and, like, almost lapsing in percent just from one neutral exchange. Pick do so much damage in this game. Okay. Puts him off stage. Just oh, okay. Hawk taking all this damage, and it's right back in. I'm his lineup in the back. Okay. Pulls on the Pikmin here. I'm him setting up camp just a little bit nicely. Spaces himself from those down there, but Razo able to land. Down throw to back air. Won't do it at that percent, I guess. We're going to see the I'm him trying to recycle his, uh, his lineup to make sure he has a purple raid for the kill. He can pull it off. Pressure coming out from the ledge here, and that down. Oh man, that's the, that's the oh, scary nice part. Juke. That, yeah, oh, okay. Nice here. juke, and this time he gets the tech. Really good movement there from I'm him at the ledge. Just a. DI in the ledge throw? Oh, oh my goodness, almost. But he has so another close. blue. Two blue opportunities for the throw. Raza is so far behind. He has to make his stock count like right now. Oh, he tried to space himself. Okay, game five. Last stock for both these players in the tournament. And Raza makes a magic happen. Or I may have all the tools he needs to close this one out. Oh, it starts just like this, man. Oh. Raza missing the grab. That was so crucial. Pushing him back against I'm him. I'm him stuck at the ledge. Yeah, he grabbed his knee a whistle there, but he still isn't in range to get it. This is the clutch opportunity for Razo. Look at this pressure that he's putting on I'm him, right? Oh. He has him at the ledge, brings him back center stage, turns it oh, on the other stage with that up air. Doing it last